Seek Ninja is the Laser Gene Core Suite's utility for advanced editing of genome sequences and annotations. When you first launch Seek Ninja, the template and toolkit panels appear on the right. As in our Protean 3D application, Seek Ninja's panels and views can be resized, moved, closed, or undocked if desired. The visual view on the left initially displays the Seek Ninja template gallery, a list of shortcuts to items in the templates panel. In this example, I want to extract all regulatory CDS features from a subset of a sequence and then automatically calculate the reverse complements. To begin the program, I'll click on the template Extract Features as Sequences to open the template in the visual view. Yellow highlighting is used to denote any mandatory field that has not yet been filled in. I want to limit my search to CDS features, so I'll keep a default of CDS. Since I want to filter for regulatory genes only, I need to check the filter box. In the drop-down menu, I'll select Note, and on the right, I'll type in my search term. The asterisks that I typed on either side of Regulat are wildcards that will cause Seek Ninja to search for any note that has Regulat anywhere in it. Seek Ninja will thus find notes containing the words Regulator, Regulatory, and Regulation. Next, I'll enter the sequence file. To do this, I click on the Choose Sequences button. I'm going to select the LAM CG sequence. This is found in the Demo Data folder, which is a subfolder of LaserGene 10 data. I only want to search a subrange of this sequence, so I'll click the plus sign to the right of the sequence file area and choose Add Subrange. Next, I'll type in the left and right coordinates into the corresponding range boxes. To see the annotated features in this sequence, I can click the downward pointing green arrow on the right. At this point, I can use my mouse to scroll left or right and view the features along the sequence. To add the reverse complement step, I'll click the edit icon to the right of the extract step and choose reverse complement from the list. Note that when I added this step, the subrange features display closed automatically to conserve space in the view. Now I need to choose a place to save the output file. To do this, I click the Save Results As button. By default, Seek Ninja assigns this to the FASTA format. However, I can use the Format drop-down menu to choose from among several other alternatives. Now the program is complete. If desired, we could continue adding templates and toolkit items from the panels at right by using drag and drop or by clicking on them. Seek Ninja also provides context-sensitive right-click shortcuts to items found on the right. For now, I'll return to the earlier version of our program. To run the program, click the Run button. Once the run finishes, the Run Completed message box appears with a link to the results folder. And here are the results. As you can see, Seek Ninja located and reverse complemented two CDS features that met our criteria. So far, we've only looked at Seek Ninja's visual view. To open the text view, click on the text tab at the bottom of the window. The text view contains the same information as the visual view, but in plain text. Advanced users may find it convenient to type or paste text into this view compared to using the visual view. If you have questions about Seek Ninja or about any of our other software applications, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.